I'm just first going to run through differentiation, and then it'll move on to integration. So here we go. We're going to start by picking a negative x value for one point of a secant line, followed by a positive value for the other point. The program is then going to draw the secant line, after which the user is prompted to select, again, a negative and positive value between 0 and 10 to show what happens when the points of the secant line get closer and closer and closer. And when these points get arbitrarily small, we get a tangent line. So the program asks you to input a point and then draws a tangent line at that point, showing the derivative. We now move on to the theory of differentiation and the power rule, which is a quick way to find derivatives. After this, practice problems show up. So the user is asked to input the answer to each derivative and is not allowed to continue until they get the questions right. This is to encourage mastery of the concept. But what happens if we get something wrong? Like I'm just put in 45, wrong answer. You're asked to try again until you get it right. The program will not let you continue until you do everything correctly. Then it moves on to demonstrating integrals with Riemann sums, and it asks you how many rectangles you want under the curve. And for this case, we're going to say five. It only draws four, but there's actually a rectangle of height zero on the far left. And then to show what happens as the number of rectangles gets larger and larger, it asks us to put in a larger amount of rectangles. We'll try 80 this time. And then finally, it compares these Riemann sums to the actual area under the curve, which is the integral. Then we move on to antiderivative rules, just showing how to take an integral with a uh, basic polynomial function. Then it brings us to some practice problems that, again, we are forced to input the correct answer or else we will not be able to proceed to the other parts of the tutorial. We have a couple fractions in this one. No need to worry about that. That one right. On to the last one. And then we move on to our real world application problem. The user is given a equation here for uh, the movement of the car and asked to use the derivative to find how fast the car is moving at 15 minutes and then prompted to use the integral to find how far the car has traveled after 12 minutes. Having shown understanding of both the derivative and the integral, and being shown the context in which these concepts are put in the real world. Alonzo, the Dragon Sensei, congratulates the student and invites 
us to return next time for triple integrals over imaginary surfaces. Thank you.